Oh, snap. <laughs> Get it. Good. Good. What's going on, 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 Hey guys, what's up? Something happened yesterday, guys, which I'm not too proud of. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. It's probably not, it's not a big deal, but we got in a little fender bender. Actually, all that was crushed in that bumper. We managed to pull it out. Ah, oh, what happened, what happened, right? Well, I, it was my fault. I was over at a 7-Eleven pumping gas. I was trying to make a tight turn. I was looking over to my left. Didn't pay attention to the sign that was on my right side and boom, you know, hit it. Got a little little jolt. We jacked up that, that truck, man. It's a good thing that I'm able to still drive it. Man, I mean, it's just one thing after another. I've been trying to fix the uh, engine on the truck. Overheat, it was overheating, and then we've been having a cylinder five misfire, which I changed all the uh, spark plugs on it. We checked the coil uh, packs on them. Checked the injectors, those are good. I switched them out with another cylinder to see if it'll throw off the code on another cylinder. Didn't do that and it's still showing a misfire on cylinder five. If you guys know anything about these Dodge Rams, this is a 2014 Dodge Ram 1500-57 Hemi. Let me know. We can't figure it out. I did a compression test on cylinder five. It holds compression. The only thing I could think about is maybe cams and lifters, maybe just worn out. I had to change a clutch fan on it, which I already did, because it was overheating a couple of months ago. But then come to find out it was an electric fan, so I went ahead and put the electric fan on it. And, uh, oh, check this out. <laughs> we got Doug over here. Doug, you got a new bike. Golly, is that a bike or a spaceship? <laughs> spaceship to me, man. <laughs> Hey, man. Oh I can't wait man, you got running, dude. computers and golly, he got more maps, look everything, dude. He got more crap on his bike than I do on my truck. <laughs> Does it start done? All right, let's go pick up the sod and install this sod. All right, we're gonna run into uh, QT and get us a free fountain drink. Uh, let's give it the old taste test. Good. Yes, sir, indeed. It's that Rooster Booster mixed with the Power Rate. Guys, let's go ahead and uh, load up all this sod, buddy. All right, let's see how many you can carry. Huh? See how much you can carry. Oh, I got two. Let's see. One. Three. Oh, three. Four. Cuatro. <laughs> Cinco. Six. Six. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Nueve. 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 Oh, oh, Look at that whole trailer there. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, man? What's, What's up? up? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, All right. Oh, you got man. it. Let's see. Come on. Get your body and see. Look at you. Right, it's gonna go on YouTube. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, what about you, Mark? You're yeah, about him. Come on, Mark. No, I had enough coffee. Don't kill my back. I'm older than you. What's your name, bro? Pedro. 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 My name Pedro. All right, Pedro. What's your name? Gino. Okay, Gino. Gino. Good to meet you, sir. Good to meet you, Mark. Mark. Pedro. I'm Pedro. Good to meet you, Mark. Have a good day, off. Yeah, we had to get this whole shit. Oh, shit. Just put the whole pallet on. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey man, can I drive it? Yes, sir. All right. My boy said I could drive this machine, guys. You think I should go ahead and take it for a spin? Don't let him drive it. Don't let him drive it. All right, sir. All right, you got it. You know why? Because he will wreck it. All right, you got it. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Uh, homeboy lied. He said I could drive his machine, and he takes off on it. Oh, well, guys, we got to go uh, 
weed eat an alley that we forgot to do yesterday at one of the properties. Second time it happened, it just happened. So we gotta go knock that out real quick. Probably take about three minutes to do. Then we're gonna go uh, install this St. Augustine grass. Let's get to it. Come on, let's go. Ugh. All right, guys, we went ahead and got the sod. We got St. Augustine. We got the guys prepping the ground. We got uh, one of my buddies had a tiller. It's a still little tiller. I'm gonna show you real quick. And uh, that's what we're using to prep the ground. And we're gonna grade, do a little grade and uh, start installing the St. Augustine. Let's get out of here and uh, let's go check them out over here. All right guys, hopefully you guys can hear me over the uh, motor of the tiller there, but we're only doing half of the yard. Now this is just a real quick fix, but of course we're not gonna cut corners. We're doing it right. The owner, let me let me walk over here guys. The owner was getting uh, notes and complaints from the HOA guys. So uh, she was like, because they, it was all bare, not, no grass or anything there. So they tell her to uh, fix it or I guess, do they get a fine or something? I'm not sure if they get a fine or what happens with the HOA stuff. But uh, it was kind of like an emergency type of thing. It's about uh, 200, close to 250 square feet. About 90, 95 squares of St. Augustine we're gonna lay down. So we got the guys right now prepping the ground, as you can see behind me. Then we're gonna fertilize, and then we're gonna start laying down the squares or the sod. This is the tiller we're using. It's a steel MM56C. My buddy came over and let us use this. So we're gonna, we're trying it out. I guess so far a uh, baby's been using it. What do you think about the tiller? Is it okay or what do you think? Oh yeah, I mean, that's my first time ever using one. And I mean, I'm doing it, it's working. You're doing it. I mean, it looks great, man. I mean, right. I think it does. It's, it's, doing, uh, it's doing the job. So I may purchase something like this cause this is gonna be, it's big enough, I guess for an area like this. And uh, of course it's, big enough for flower beds as well but i don't know if we'd do a whole yeah we, we may i don't know uh, no what do you think mark you ain't doing a whole side job on a big yard with that oh okay no way mark got the point there just saying you want to make got... money you don't want to spend all your profit and labor get a bigger chili got a point there but already had more tilled up okay yeah that's true so this is good for like small little areas, like maybe 200 and square feet or less. We're doing something, maybe let's just say across, let's say we're doing this and we're doing something that big. Of course, we'll need a, a bigger tiller, but I think for something like this small, it's perfect. I think it's perfect, guys. I mean, you see, we're already tilling the ground. Doing a quick chicken feed. I didn't bring my broadcast spreader, my hand spreader, so we're gonna just do it all by hand and uh, dice it out there. You got to check them out. Let's check out Mark chicken feeding the ground. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, start laying down the sod. St. Augustine. The Let's get it. The yeah. All right, guys, we changed it up. We moved the first ones that uh, baby was laying and we're gonna start from over here. As you uh, can see right behind me, let's go ahead and get closer to it.
right guys we did we did a lot over here we're not done we're gonna go uh to our home away from home which is a gas station that we always hit up when we're in this part of the area but i'm gonna give you a little just a quick view guys we still got to do some cleaning up a little bit more detailing and cutting but for the most part i think we laid it pretty good oh i gotta go to home depot or either lowe's and get about eight more squares i think over at the other place they skimped out on the squares because i was i had gotten 90 pieces and uh it was way under 90 pieces but you know what i'm not gonna worry about it i'm just gonna go to lowe's get eight or ten more pieces and uh we'll be done i think the guys are already they're ready for a restroom break and a drink break so let's go get a cold drink all right we went to home depot we went to go look at the saint augustine and it was burnt dude it was bad it was yellow it was crusty so we're just gonna wait till because i didn't want to drive all the way to mesquite just for eight pieces of sod and then have to drive way back here and then install it there so we're gonna be out here tuesday i told the customer we'll be back when we come back to mow we'll just uh fill that area there with about eight pieces of sod and she said it was okay so what we're doing we're just the guys already blew the sidewalk and uh all we're gonna do is what are we gonna do next oh yeah we gotta soak the grass put some fertilizer down, put some fertilizer down. that's it clean up the sidewalk that's it that's it so we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, water hose and uh Y'all guys probably don't want to see the us watering the grass. That's going to be kind of boring. But that's it. Piece of cake. We're going to water the grass. We're going to get out of here. And uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and call it a day. We're going to have a, a three-day weekend, 4th of July weekend. You guys have a safe uh, Independence Day, 4th of July weekend. I know we are. Jog a barbecue. Same your peas, same your sum. We're gonna get out of here. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you on the next video. Yeah, buddy. Boom. <laughs> Say, man, I was spraying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. Get it, Kino. Get it, baby. <laughs>